Kamali Iokapo. So remember last week I gave you folks a song, Poliahu. But as we were doing our talk on Tuesday, I realized a better mele, because I have it all programmed in order in my mind, you know, what we're going to do. So we're going to talk about now Kamali Iokapo, because where is the Pono Kamele? And this would be a perfect song, or this is a perfect song to discuss that, Kamali Iokapo. When you think about Kamali Iyo Kapo, literally Kamali I child or Kapo of darkness. All right. Also mentioned in the song is Kamali Iyo Keao, the child of light. Opposites. That's part of the Pono, right? Right hand, left hand, I Luna, I Lalo. Positive, negative, right? Na Ao Ao, enlightenment. Na Ao Po, ignorance. And it's a challenge. Pono is sometimes a challenge for people. Maintaining that balance, understanding that balance, working within that balance. What is that balance for a lot of people? How do we express that balance? How do we express that order? How do we express that uh, format? How do we express that? which is a great part of who we are, yet for many of us have not built that pilina, that relationship with Pono. So, when I wrote Kamali Iokapo, and this is the Mo'o Olelo, when I wrote Kamali Iokapo, I wanted to reflect some of that with the words of the Mele. And it all goes back to an Olelo no Eau. Aye ya oi kapauku i vaina. I hear kapo'o, I hear kahi'u. Aye ya oi kapauku i vaina. You are in the middle section. You are the middle section of a fish. I hear kapo'o. Where is the head of the fish? I hear kahi'u. Where is the tail? Yeah? I hear kapo o ka o ka ia. I hear kahi o ka ia. I ano ya o kapau ku iwa ina o ka ia. I hear kapo o ka ia. I hear kahi o ka ia. So, where is the? You have you are in the middle section of the fish. Where is the head of the fish? Where is the tail of the fish? It's like the past the present and the future. So the po'o of the fish is the past. The center part of the fish is the present. And the tail of the fish is the future. And if you look at this example of Pono. It is our past, which is the head of the fish, where the eyes of the fish are, Ike, where the kupuna, the akua, and the aumakua reside, that are leading us forward. So the Ike, even with this example of the fish, because of the eyes of the ia, on the head, on the po'o, which is our past, is the head of the fish. Which is the spiritual part. Which is the spiritual part. Which is our connection to the pono of akua, aumakua, and kupuna very traditional way of thinking. Today it's different. Everybody like jump to the front. Everybody forget the order, but everybody's so quick to yell out the order. There is an order. And if we're going to say we pono, then we got to pono to the order. We cannot have the head representing the past, the akua, the aumakua, and the kupuna, and push them in the back, and the tail like jump forward. Remember, but a tail get the okole. 
So, we will follow the tail and the okole. And you know, how kupuna they speak with the kind olelo nane, right? And when they talk about the hiu of the fish, it's just like the word puhiu. Ah. <laughs> Think about that. Okay, now the middle section of the fish, again, that's the present. That's us. We're in the present. We're in the here and now. We connect to the head. If we follow, yeah, we're connecting to the head, which is the past. Now the present, yeah, that's behind the fish. Not in front of the fish. The present is behind the fish. That's the hiu. Like I call you the word puhi'u. That's the hi'u o ka'i'a. Yeah? So, aya ka po o ka'i'a mamua. Eo no mako. Ike'i'a ao. Mahope no. Kava mamua. I mean, kava mahope. Excuse me. The future. And, which is interesting. Because in the mana'o. Yeah? Ona kupuna. Present is in front. I mean... Past is in front, and present, future is in the back. Let me say that again. So, the past is in front of us. The future is behind us. Why is that? Because if we porno, we're following our akua, our amakua, and our kupuda. Again, the tail is not in the front. The tail of the ia is behind. Now the tail flaps, yeah, and pushes the present and the past in front, not behind. And again, yeah, the whole premises or the foundation of this melee was to set everything in its proper order. Pono. Because people love to use that word pono. Ho opono pono. Ku pono. Ulu pono. Ike pono. My kai. Wonderful, wonderful words. But we gotta use it in its proper context. We gotta use it properly. Pono. And we cannot change that pono. We can try and try and try. But we cannot change that pono. Vakea kalani papa kahonua. We cannot change that pono. Vakea kalani papa kahonua. No kaluna ko luna. No kalalo ko lalo. Vakea's domain the heavens. Papa domain papa's domain the earth. No kaluna ko luna. What belongs up? Belongs up. No kalalo kolalo. What belongs below is below. That's an ancient pono that is a part of us. If we ivi hanau o kaaina, if we kanaka maoli, then that is our pono. So have we become so ha ole and not so much ha vai that? We have problem in understanding in the order who goes first, who goes second, and who goes third. Like the pono of Akua, Aina, and Kanaka. That's a pono that is a part of us. So, <clears throat> understanding that would be part of a national understanding that may bring some cohesiveness to when we as a nation do things pono. Vaakea kalani papa kahonua no kaluna koluna no kalalo kolano kolalo o kapaa iluna o kapaa ilalo. These are olelo no eao. Spoken time and time and time again by our ancient kupuna, by my kupuna, to put everything in place so that there's no question about the order. Whenever there is a question about what we're going to do, revert to the pono. 
wata sapono se. Aia noia oe ka pauku i vaina. Ai hea ka poo o ka ia, ai hea ka hiu o ka ia. Vākea kalani, papaka honua, no ka luna ko luna, no ka lalo ko lalo. O ka paa i luna, o ka paa i lalo. What more do we need to say about that? That's very, very clear. It's very, very clear. So how, how important is pono? And in this day and time, how do we value that? And do we actually believe in that? Because mm, probably if we actually believed, things would be a lot different. That pilina to the pono would be very, very strong. That pilina, that pono, that understanding, you know the word ho'opono pono, yeah? You know, when you ho'oponopono something, yeah, you kind of bring back that order, yeah. So if there's like big pilikia, yeah, the kupuna, the ho'oponopono. And even in the tradition of ho'oponopono, the kahu has to be an elder. Not a keiki, not an opio, not a makua, but a kupuna. And the thought is, like, the 